sister. <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, by God's grace, more people will be able to join us. Shall we pray? Amen. Oh, Father in heaven, we want to give you the thanks, the praise and the glory. As you said, we two or three are gathered. There you are among us. I thank you for Sister Fran and Sister Mugabe and coming on this platform this afternoon. And Lord, as we begin, we invite the Holy Spirit to be our guide, reading the book Sanctified Life, to see uh, where we stand in, in today's um, life about sanctified, sanctifying ours uh, through the help of the Holy Spirit. So we want to give you the thanks, the praise, and the glory. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay, we can begin with song um, 613. Uh, six two three, sorry, six two three. I will follow thee. It has five verses. Um, I'll take the first one. Anyone for the second, third, with three of us? Then I'll do the fourth and fifth. Six oh one. Okay, let me find it. Um, sorry, in my it's six oh one. Um, so Mugabe, will you join us in song? No. <laughs> okay. Um, you, you're not. You're not out. No. Baraton. <laughs> Baraton. No. Right. Okay. You, okay. You're at home today. Yes, I'm today. I'm in. There okay. are. Very one, two, three. There's five verses. It, there's five verses. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, oh. iPhone. I think that's Sister Ingrid. Yes, hello, everybody. Hello. 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 How hello. are you feeling now? Um, Slowly, but gradually. I praise God. He's, he's healing. Praise God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thank God. Okay. Okay. Shall, we'll... I, shall I take two? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll start and then we'll see how it goes. I will follow thee, my Savior, wheresoever my lot may be. Where thou goest, I will follow. Yes, my Lord, I'll follow thee. I will follow thee, my Savior. Thou didst share thy blood for me. And though all men should forsake thee, by thy grace I'll follow thee. Can I, can I say that if we miss out the refrains until we come to the last one, I don't know if you'd agree with that, because um, we'll be doing the refrains all the time. I'll miss out the refrain and then somebody can go to the third. <clears throat> <clears throat> though the road be rough and rough, thorny, Trackless as the foaming sea. <clears throat> Thou hast trod this way before me, and I'll gladly follow thee. Sorry about my voice. Though I meet with tribulations, sorely tempted though I be, I remember <laughs> thou hast tempted and rejoice to follow thee. I will follow thee, my Savior. Thou didst share thy blood for me. And though all men should forsake thee, by thy grace I'll follow thee. My voice isn't very good. I'm getting over a bad throat as well, so somebody else needs to sing. Though thou leadest me through affliction, poor forsaken though I be, thou wast destitute, destitute, afflicted, and I'll only follow thee. Though to Jordan's rolling bellows, cold and deep, thou leadest me. Thou hast crossed the waves before me, and I still will follow thee. I will follow thee, my Saviour. 
Thou didst shed thy blood for me, and though all men should forsake thee, by thy grace I'll follow thee. Amen. I will follow thee, my Savior. Um, I will share the screen, and I don't know if anybody remembers um, where we stopped. Uh, I think we were... I think we finished substituting feeling for reason. Is that right, Sister Fran? Were you there? No. Sister Fran, can anybody hear me? Yes, I can. I can. Oh, all right, okay. Um, I can't remember where, where we stopped. Um, okay, because we did uh, chapter one, we're still on chapter one, true and false theories contrasted, and then self-righteousness condemned, I remember we've done that one, and I think it is the substituting feeling for reason. Yeah. Okay, I'll read. Many who profess sanctification are entirely ignorant of the work of grace upon the heart. When proved and tested, they are found to be like the self-righteous Pharisee. They will bear no contradiction. They lay aside reason and judgment and depend wholly upon their feelings, basing their claims to sanctification upon emotions which they have at some time experienced. They are stubborn and perverse in arguing their tenacious claims of holiness, giving many words by bearing no precious fruit as proof. These pro professedly sanctified persons are not only deluding their own souls by their pretensions but are exerting an influence to lead astray many who earnestly desire to conform to the will of God. They may be heard to reiterate again and again. God leads me. God teaches me. I am living without sin. Many who come in contact with this spirit encounter a dark, mysterious something which they cannot comprehend. But it is not that which is altogether unlike Christ, the only true pattern. Bible sanctification does not consist in... <laughs> Bible sanctification does not consist in strong emotion. Here is where many are led into error. They make feelings their criteria cri when they feel elected or happy, they claim that they are sanctified. Happy feelings or the absence of joy is no evidence that a person is or is not sanctified. There is no such thing as instantaneous sanctification. True sanctification is a daily work, continuing as long as life shall last. Those who are battling with daily temptations overcoming their own sinful tendencies and seeking for holiness of heart and life, make no boastful claims of holiness. They are hungering and thirsting for righteousness. Sin appears to them exceedingly sinful. There are those claiming sanctification who make a profession of the truth like their brethren, and it may be difficult to make a distinction between them but the difference exists nevertheless. The testimony of those claiming such as such an exalted experience will cause the sweet spirit of Christ to withdraw from a meeting and will leave a chilling influence upon those present. While if they were truly living without sin, their presence 
could bring holy angels into the assembly and their words would indeed be like apples of gold in pictures of, of silver. That's found in Proverbs 25, verse 11. Are there any comments before we uh, move on to the next reading? Because we see the thing is people are now sort of like going with feelings and say, oh, I've been sanctified because I feel like this, I feel like that. It's yeah, not the feelings yeah. that we should go by. It's true. And 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 it's um, our worship services, um, well, I find anyway, um, that, um, you know, going to some places, that our meetings are more Pentecostal and full of all this feeling and fervor. Mm. Um, and um, the word of God is not... It is is not evidence there. Um, it, you know, it's all about the music and the swaying, and raising the arms and swaying about, um, because you know the, the it, it makes them feel good. But the the thing <laughs> we're told, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And when we look in the Bible, in Isaiah, and in Revelation where um, we get a glimpse of worship to God in heaven, the holy angels and the highest of angels, the seraphims, they, they cover their faces, their bodies and their feet and bow before God crying, holy, holy, holy. There's, there's no fervor and swaying about or anything there. Mm, mm. They, these are the worship services that we need to emulate. Yes, yes, that's true, that's true. Um, I see these, these people, I think, waiting. Um, let me just, sorry about that. <coughs> oh, they, uh, I'll make, I'll make, uh, can I make you a co-host, Sister Mugabe, then you can let people in, because I'm unable to, Share and um, can you hear me, Sister Makabi? Yes, please. Yes, do yes. that. Yeah, I'll, I'll make you co host and then at least can let um, people in. Thank you. Mm. Um, even Fran I had made a co host, but she dropped. Mm. Okay. Now, yeah. Okay, I'm in now. Oh, right. Can 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 everybody see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yes. we will continue. We just finished reading the substituting feeling for reason, and uh, yeah, thank you, um, Mr. Ingrid, for that comment. Yeah, this this is what happens in in the churches. You find that uh, God is not in there. In well, that's the way I also feel at our church. Because most of the time, some of these preachers, they uh, just preaching smooth things and, and also uh, they start telling, um, start telling us about the, the life history and everything. And you're like, well, I've come here to listen to God's word, not your life history. There is a time and place for testimonies. You know, uh, I'm not saying that uh, testimonies shouldn't be there, but there is a time for that. But most of the time when you hear and then they talk about feelings, how they felt and this and that. So our feelings should be put aside at uh, such meetings. Okay. If there's no other comments, then we, we can carry on. I don't know if someone wants to read the testing time. Okay. Anybody? Okay. Thank you. Oh, dear Lord, bless these words to our hearts. In summer, as we look upon the trees of the distant forest, all clothed with a beautiful mantle of green, we may not be able to distinguish between the evergreens and the other trees. But as winter approaches and the frost king encloses them in his icy embrace, stripping the other trees of their beautiful foliage, the evergreens are readily discerned. 
Thus it will be with all who are walking in humility, distrustful of self, but clinging tremblingly to the hand of Christ. While those who are self-confident and trust in their own perfection of character lose their false robe of righteousness when subjected to the storms of trial, the truly righteous who sincerely love and fear God wear the robe of Christ's righteousness in prosperity and adversity alike. Self-denial, do you want me to go on? Yes, please. Self-denial, self-sacrifice, benevolence, kindness, love, patience, fortitude, and Christian trust are the daily fruits born by those who are truly connected with God. Their acts may not be published to the world, but they themselves are daily wrestling with evil and gaining precious victories over temptation and wrong. Solemn vows are renewed and kept through the strength gained by the earnest prayer and constant watching thereunto. The ardent enthusiast does not discern the struggles of these silent workers, but the eyes of him who seeth the secrets of the heart notices and regards with approval every effort put forth in lowliness and meekness. It requires a testing time to reveal the pure gold of love and faith in the character. When trials and perplexities come upon the church, when the steadfast seal and warm affection of Christ's true followers are developed, we feel sad to see professed Christian led astray by the false and bewitching theory that they are perfect because it is so difficult to undeceive them and lead them into the right path. They have sought to make the exterior fair and pleasing, while the inward adorning, the meekness and loneliness of Christ is wanting. The testing time will come to all, when the hopes of many who have for years thought themselves secure will be seen to be without foundation when in new positions on the varied circumstances, some who have seemed to be pillars in the house of God reveal only rotten timber beneath the paint and varnish. But the humble in heart who have daily felt the importance of rivet riveting their souls to the external rock will stand on move amid the tempest, tempest of trials because they trusted not to themselves. The foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are is. Second Timothy 2, 19. Amen, amen. Okay, are there any comments there on the testing time? Wow. And uh, the testing time will come to, to comes to all of us at one point or the other. But um, when the testing comes, are we ready to give up or are we ready to fall apart instead of clinging on to Christ and holding on to him? Because he is in control. He sees what we do not see. He sees from the beginning to the end of everything that happens in our lives and in everybody's lives and in the world. Now he sees, he knows, and he is in control. And that's who we should hold on to. Um, it, it gives us the example of the evergreen, mm, the mm. other trees. That's when right. Everything, when everything's going fine, we really can't discern who is who. Mm. But when the real trials and tribulation come, we will see who is the evergreen. Yeah. We will yeah. see who stands. So it is the trials that will... Sh sh the trials that we're going through now is strengthening us and shaping us, mm. right? Mm. And then it goes on to say that um, the, evergreen, the evergreen are the people who have denied self mm. and have taken on the character of Christ, being benevolent and self-sacrificial. 
biases and kindness. Now, now those who are not evergreen can seem to be doing that too. Oh mm. yeah, um, you know, but the the, the um, what is it? The the intent is not right. Why they're doing it? Mm. So we will see who really is standing for right. Um, and it's not, it's, we're not just doing it for show. So the time will come. Mm. The time. Yeah, yeah. I thought there was some, I heard like someone wanted to say something because I can't see any hands up. If someone wanted to say something, you can just, um, you can just unmute yourself if there's any comments. Yeah, yeah, carry on. <laughs> May I believe faith is faith when it is tested. Mm. Because when mm. you are not tested, you think you are strong. Yeah. When things come, you know how strong you are. So mm. may God help us to have that 100% faith when problems come. Thank you. Mm. Uh, that's the next mm. thing. Let us thank God for the tests. Yes. yes, yes, let yes, us, yes. Let us let us thank God for the trials. Yes. We're so easy, what we so easily want to moan and groan when God is doing us a big favor. Yes. yes. These yes. things that happen to us now. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I think that um um as we go through trials now and we seek um God's help and he gives us the victory, there may be only little things. But they mount up, and the cumulative effect is that our confidence in God to answer our prayers and to help us through difficulties will increase. Mm. So that <laughs> by the time the, the 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 real pressure is put on us, and the real you know the time of trouble comes, we will have had experience with God that builds our confidence that we are sure and certain our God is great. He has helped me this far and he's going to complete what he started in me. That's right. Amen. Amen. That is so true. That is right. <laughs> and, and this sentence, as it says, the struggles of these silent workers, but the eye of him who seeth the secrets of the heart notices and regards with approval every effort put forth in lowliness and meekness and that's the word we should be lowly and meek in in all these things and um, as sister ingrid says all that the trials they may be small um, but they make us grow stronger and stronger in christ so we just need to keep holding on and trusting that the Lord is in control in everything. Thank you. Um, are there any other comments? All I will add is that this is a work of a lifetime. Mm, mm, five, that's, that's right. Five, that's a five minute work. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sister yeah. Fran is very right. In fact, that's exactly what Ellen White says in Steps to Christ. Sanctification is the work of a lifetime. Sister lifetime. Fran is very right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And and day and a daily surrender and trusting God and leaving everything in his in his care. You know, because like as we were reading when there was um the first few uh, paragraphs that we read was saying that people are saying oh I'm right I've got no son and this and this and I'm sanctified and feelings and putting their feelings in it's not just a one-off it's a daily surrender to Christ okay uh, we can we can just read this other paragraph now normal fruit bearing anyone that wants to read can read for us please Which one are we on? Is it the testing time? No, normal fruit bearing. Normal fruit bearing. We just finished the testing time. Mm. I'll 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 try and read it, Sister Rhoda. Okay, thank you, Sister. Oh yes. yes um, yes. if people can excuse my voice. Yeah. Okay. Those who take pains to call attention to their good works, constantly talking of their sinless state 
and endeavouring to make their religious attainments prominent are only deceiving their own souls by so doing. A healthy man who is able to attend to the vocations of life and who goes forth day after day to his labour um, with buoyant spirits and with a healthy current of blood flowing through his veins does not call the attention of everyone he meets to his soundness of body. Health and vigour are the natural conditions of this life and therefore he is scarcely conscious that he is in the enjoyment of so rich a boon. Thus it is with the truly righteous man. He is unconscious of his goodness and piety. Religious principle has become the spring of his life and conduct, and it is just as natural for him to bear the fruits of the spirit as for the tr fig tree to bear figs or for the rose bush to yield roses. His nature is so thoroughly imbued with love for God and his fellow men that he works the work of Christ with a willing heart. All who come within the sphere of his influence perceive the beauty and fragrant fragrance of his Christian life, while he himself is unconscious of it, for it is in harmony with his habits and inclinations. He prays for divine light and loves to walk in the light. It is his meat and drink to do the will of his heavenly Father. His life is hid with Christ in God, yet he does not boast of this, nor seem conscious of it. God smiles upon the humble and lowly ones who follow closely in the footsteps of the Master. Angels are attracted to them and love to linger about their path. They may be passed by as unworthy of notice by those who claim exalted attainments and who delight in making prominent their good works. But heavenly angels bend lovingly over them and are as a wall of fire around them. How marvellous is that? Amen, amen, yes. How marvellous it is. Just uh, these are the silent workers. The the fruit, we, we see the fruit, um, the one that are really working for Christ. We, we, we see the, the, the fruit in the things that they do. They do not boast or anything like that. They just go silently doing God's work, not showing off or anything. I don't know if there's any comments on this paragraph. Uh, I just want to say as well, um, we must be careful not to write people off. That's right. Um, because, um, you know, it's easily done. You know, just because people might not see things as we do um, doesn't mean that they're wrong and we're all right. Um, <laughs> But it's true, as you say, in fact, the words of Jesus, as you said, Sister Rhoda, is by their fruits that we that we can know them. In fact, that was the test that Jesus said we needed to apply uh, to other people. Um, but um, I, I also think, you know, when <coughs> Jesus, he accepted everybody who came to him, whether they were genuine or not. I mean, oh. in Desire of Ages, Ellen White tells us, uh, how Jesus longed for that rich young ruler mm. uh, 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 to give his heart to him, uh, but he thought he was already doing enough. Amen. Amen. Um, and, um, um, you know, uh, there are some people like the thief on the cross uh, only really submit themselves to Jesus almost at the end of their lives, mm. whatever yeah. their... <laughs> Claims might have been throughout their lives. Uh, and the other thing um, that Jesus said to Peter, and I always try to bear this in mind, it, Jesus said uh, to Peter, when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Mm. Now that was at the end, almost at the end of Jesus' ministry, after Peter had been with him for three and a half years. <laughs> and we know at the very end that it wasn't just Judas that betrayed Mm. Uh, Jesus but Peter did as well yeah. but the difference was that Peter broke his heart it said he went out and wept bitterly when mm. he saw Jesus looking at him yes. and uh, when he denied him he, Jesus knew Peter thoroughly but he did everything he could and he said I have prayed for thee mm. I've prayed for thee Jesus is praying for us 
Yes. He wants us to succeed. God is doing everything possible for all of us to succeed. And he also said that we're mm. not to pull up the tares before the harvest. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. The angel reapers will do that. So we need to reach out with tenderness to people who seem um, <laughs> not to be wholly converted. Do what we can to help yeah. strengthen the brethren. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 uh, in, in that, I believe that we're lifting up Jesus and we're doing what he told Peter he wanted him to do. Yeah. And it's only by God's grace that we can do anything right. We can't yeah. do it ourselves. That's so true. That is no, true. I, Just by I, God's I, grace. I, mm -hmm. Can I yeah. add? Yes, yes. Go okay, ahead. Okay. Right. Um, three sections in this read, part of the reading. It says religious principle has become the spring of his life and conduct. And it is just as natural for him to bear the fruits of the spirit mm -hmm. as for the fig tree to bear figs and it goes on. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Mm -hmm. I find that so invigorating that it's actually saying whatever we do, it will be just natural. We don't have to force it yes. because it has become a part, it has become a part of us. Mm. Religious principle has become the spring of his life. That's your life, my life, and conduct. And then further on down, it says, um, all who come within the sphere of this person's influence perceives the beauty and fragrance of his or her Christian life while he himself is unconscious of it. Mm. Mm. Isn't that amazing? I just say, I just say, wow, wow. You know, others yeah. are going to see in us Christ, and yes. we're not. We That's don't right. see it ourselves because we are still looking in the mirror and seeing some of our frailties. Yes, that we yes. still have to put to Him. And then the last part. Um. Okay. He prays for the divine light and loves to walk in the light. That's not it. His life is hid with Christ in God. And yet he does not boast of this or nor seem conscious of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, God smiles upon the humble and lowly. Look, it's, to me, I just say, wow. What God can change in us, the transformation that can take place. And you know mm -hmm. what? It is the evidence that others see it in us. Yes and, yes. and and sometimes our brethren don't see it, but some people in the external world they see it. Mm. They, mm. And, they ask, yes. and they're asking questions of us. I could give you some some scenarios and testimonies, but I won't go. I won't go that far, right? Mm. And God and and they have to see it in us. Even the health message, they have to see it in us. Yes, yes. We can't go around. We can't go around looking anyhow, anyway. Mm. Something. Uh, from us. People will look at you. Why is? Why do you look different? Why do you act different? Because there's something about you, and even with the health message. We shouldn't be going around looking shabby and, you know, all the mm. things that we should not be looking as a health person. And then and then say we are following Christ. No, we're not. That's right. But I think it's amazing. It's amazing. What? The transformation. Yes, yes. Thank you for that comment. And thank you, Sister Ingrid, as well, for your people's comments. Yeah, it is true that uh, we don't, if you are following Christ, truly, truly following Christ, you're not going to see what you do. And as you were saying, Sister Fran, it just comes naturally. And other people are the ones that see and think, oh, this person has completely changed. What has led them to change? And then and you look at yourself and think, well, I don't see myself have changed. But other people see you because so many times, like now, 
many people say, oh, I did this. I go out and do this. I do this. I, And it's all the I, I, I's. Instead of thinking, well, it's not really me. It's the Holy Spirit working in me that's doing all the work. This is why there's a, a transformation. And we should let the Holy Spirit work in us. And also, um, as Sister Ingrid said, we mustn't brush off people that are haven't come to an understanding as we have and just think, oh, well, you know, we'll just leave them like that. We just need to nurture them, pray for them and walk with them because Christ is walking with them. So we mustn't just brush off people and just let them uh, uh, to their own devices. It's good to talk to them, try and, 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 uh, and understand where they're coming from because we all come from different backgrounds. And um, as it was also said this morning about um, 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 people in, in, you know, we've got so much to, to learn and unlearn, as Sister Dorothy had said this morning. We all come from back, uh, different backgrounds and we've got so much to unlearn, you know, that sometimes it, it takes a long, long while for us to get to that stage. And even then, we will not be able to say, yes, I've reached that stage. It's only God that can see in us that, yes, my child, you have reached, or you will keep on reaching out to, 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 to Christ. You know, so thank you so much for the comments. Uh, but could, could I just add one more thing, please, Sister Rhoda? Yes, Isn't God. it marvelous? Isn't it marvelous how patient God is with us? Mm, mm. How patient he is. That is so true. So, <coughs> mm. so we need can to I, also... can I can I can I add on to that? That yeah. um that is one of the attributes that is high on God's list. Mm. Mm. Patience. Because from patience come a lot of other things. Yes, 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 that's so true. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. If there's no other comments, uh, I think we'll stop there and um, go on to our on to our prayers. Um, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Well, um, Sister Ingrid, is that an old hand or is it a, a new one now? Sorry, I didn't know I put my hand up. All right, I just see it now. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 that's fine. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for, 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 for joining. Um, I'll quickly pray for the word. Father in heaven, we want to give you the thanks, the praise, and the glory. Thank you so much for, for your word, a sanctified life. That is, it is not us that sanctify ourselves but through the help of the Holy Spirit. And it's a daily walk, a daily surrender to you and you alone. And Lord, may we do your work silently and not uh, shout it out on high. May other people see the work in us um, that you are working through us. So we want to give you the thanks, the praise, and the glory for the help of the Holy Spirit working in our lives every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Amen. 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 Okay, we'll we'll get into our prayers now, and um, um, I have praise and thanksgiving. I've got Psalm one hundred and seventeen, verse one to two. Anyone? I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. okay, thank you, Sister Fran. And you can use any verse that you like. It's and, me. You uh, said I'll do the praise. All right. Oh, so, sorry, Sister Mugabe. Sorry, I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was Mugabe. Thank I'll you. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, am I doing the praise or not? Uh, Sister Mugabe will do it. Can you do the confession and the church, please, Sister Friend? No, 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 I don't want to do that. Sorry. Pardon? You can't do that. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. okay, you can do the praise, Sister Friend. Do the praise. No, it's fine, Sister Mugabe. No problem. <laughs> So you're going to do the, Sister Friend, what are you doing? 
no. You carry on. Somebody's already said they'll do the second one. Carry on. Okay, so you're going to do the Holy Spirit for us, please? Yes, that's fine. Okay, that's Acts 1, verse 4 to 5. And Sister Ingrid, in uh, Romans 10, verse 9 to 10. I haven't, I'm, I'm at my daughter's. I haven't got my Bible with me, love. If you could read I'll that for me. Thank okay, you. I'll, I'll read. I'll thank read you, it thank you. you. Okay, thank you. You can use any verses that you that you like. So our order of prayer is Sister Mugabe with praise and thanksgiving. And then confession and the church is Sister Ingrid. Then the Holy Spirit and evangelism is Sister Fran. And then we've got other prayers uh, after these these prayers. We'll, we'll take a, a, a minute to confess ourselves to Christ and then... Uh, to surrender our lives to Christ, and then we'll start with Sister Mugabe. Thank you. Amen. I'm going to read 117 of Psalms. Praise the Lord, all Gentiles, loud him, all you people, for his mercy's kindness is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, Jesus and Holy Spirit, as you said in Matthew 18, 20, you said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be in their midst. Thank you, Lord, for being in our midst. Thank you for the word which was telling us how marvelous, how good you are. You are the verse said, God is love. Thank you for emptying heaven for us. Romans mm. 8, 32. You said, if I give you Jesus, is there anything we can't give you? You said, no. Thank you for the middle cross. Thank you for the gift of Holy Spirit. And thank you for the word. Those who are listening, may the Holy Spirit finish and continue to preach. Thank you, Lord. Bless everyone who is here. In Jesus' name, I thank you. I praise you. Amen. 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 Confession and the church, Romans 10, verse 9 to 10 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. May the Lord add a blessing upon his word. Amen. Holy gracious Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. There is no other, O oh Lord, who will intercede and mediate uh, for us with you. We recognize we are sinners and we are in deep need of a savior. Lord, we, we ask in Jesus' holy name, that you would forgive us and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Lord, we realize we're living in a sinful world and we're not always aware of our wrongdoing. And so, dear Lord, for the things that we know we've done wrong and also for the things we don't know, we're seeking your forgiveness today. We're asking for full cleansing. We pray, gracious Lord, that by your love and your tender mercy, through the, uh, the work of Jesus Christ, our great Saviour and Redeemer, that we can humbly come to you, knowing confidently that you will forgive and cleanse us. We ask you to help us, dear Lord, to be your faithful people as members of your church. We pray, dear Lord, that you would speak to our leaders, to our pastors, to the local leaders, that you will help us all to play our full part, to 
spread the everlasting gospel around the world. We ask that by your grace, you will help us to live it day by day in our lives. We pray, dear Father, that our lives will be a, 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 like a gospel according to you. Oh, dear Father, we realize this important work is to be done. And Father, we know that we can only come to you seeking your forgiveness, cleansing, and then not just for forgiveness of sins, Lord, but we can ask for you to fill us with the Holy Spirit that we may lead holy lives for you. And so, dear Father, we give ourselves to you now, seeking your blessing upon your church, that your church will be all that you want it to be. Help us, dear Father, to be patient, to endure the trials, and to be strong soldiers for you, Lord, we pray these things in and through the name of Jesus, our beloved and lovely Lord. Amen. 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 Father, we continue in prayer. Confession has been made for sin. Lord, and we thank you for your son who you sent to save us from our sins. At this time, <clears throat> I want to read Acts 1. One to four. The form, the former account I made, O Theopolis, <laughs> of all that Jesus began, both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up after he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments to the commands, yes, commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during the 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. Father in heaven, you promised to leave us the Holy Spirit and you have left us the Holy Spirit. And we are so thankful that he is in our midst to convict us of sin, of judgment, of righteousness, to show us the truth, to teach us all things, to give us the spirit of love. Help us not to grieve the Holy Spirit, dear Father, because he is the one also or raise us like he raised Jesus from the tomb. We thank you for the work he's doing in the church and in our lives. We thank you for the work he's doing in evangelism. And it says in Acts 1.8, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Lord, we want to be your witnesses. But we know that witnessing starts at home. It starts with those who are nearest to us. So help us to be a true witness for you, that they may see you in us and will want to come to know you. And as Sister Ingrid said, that we will have patience with people and that will be kind to them, regardless of their attitude and things they may do, which may even be on Christ-like things, dear God. Help us to have the heart of Jesus. And as we witness to them, may we also witness abroad to those in our communities, to those who we come in contact with, that they may truly know there is a God in heaven and that Jesus' son is coming back again to take us to heaven and for us to live in the earth made new. Father, may the Holy Spirit have his way with the leaders, with the church on a whole, with our families and with us so that we may be a living example of who Christ is and what he came to do in Jesus' name saying thanks. Amen. 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 We'll stop the recording. Um...